Hey, today is going to be all about front splits. It's a little advanced here and there. So make sure you're going to work at your level, at your pace. Nobody needs an injury. It's not going to help you to get deeper. So let's just, um, let's just stay conscious about this. All right. Have fun. Let's go. Okay, let's get into splits. A quick one. Not too easy for an intense posture like Kandu Manasana. So um, the best way to start is to warm up your legs. So let's just really warm up the legs. Stretch up. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the chest. Right leg back. Stay here and breathe. And from the beginning, pull your body to your spine and touch your forehead to your knee. Keep breathing into the right hip flexor. Push the heel back. Try to lock the knee. Round in your spine. Lift the head. Bring your left foot back. Just stay for a moment. Lower down, coming forward a little. And lift back up. Right leg forward. Push the left heel back. Come a little forward. Tuck your, toe, uh, tuck your chin. And keep lengthening this part. You should round away with the belly away from the hip, that way away from the leg. You should feel your psoas a little bit more. Try and lock the knee. Breathe. Shoulders away from your ears. And left foot forward. Lift your chest. Exhale. Come up. Stretch up. And come forward. <laughs> okay, so we want to go a little bit less into shoulders and upper body today. That's why I'm going handless now. Right leg steps back. Good. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, slowly lower your knee down. With the inhale, with the exhale, straighten. Inhale, exhale, straighten. You can bring your arms up one more time. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale, straighten it. Maybe you pop your sacrum. <laughs> Keep pushing your heel back. Breathe. Grab your elbows. Lift the chest. And lean a bit back into that soul stretch. If you're not all the way down, don't worry. Just try. Good. Okay. And your arms stay back and you're pulling the hips back. Come forward, stretch forward. Let's just stay halfway for now. This is still waking up. I'm going to do this again after some of the classic standing postures. Actually, always the best way <coughs> to warm up. Come up. Right leg forward, kick, breathe, chest up, stay, lock the knees. You can point your foot or flex it. And right leg out and back. Lift the chest. We're just stretching here a tiny bit, barely to your spine. Lock the knee. Good. Bring your right foot to the left. Stretch up. Arms out. Again, one more time. Interlace your fingers, this time the other way. Around. Bring your left foot back. 
stretch your chest up. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale, straighten it. Again, inhale, bend, exhale, straighten, and bring your arms up. Keep stretching up. Try again if you need to. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale, straighten. You want to create muscle activation that pulls away from the hip, right? So glutes are active, thighs are active, quadriceps, calves, feet, spine, everything needs attention. Grab your elbows, lift the chest, lean back a little bit. Exhale. Pull the right hip back and stretch forward. This is only halfway. Keep the chest up. Breathe. Belly in. Good. Come forward. Lift the left leg up. Kick forward. Lock both knees. Point or flex the toes. Breathe. Hum. Lifting the chest. Good. Out. And back. Breathe. Lock the knees. <laughs> and lower your foot down. Very nice. Arms down. Good. Let's do some standing postures. Stretch up. Mm. Exhale. Come down. Lift the chest. Jump a step back. Lower. Lift. Push back. Okay. Right leg up. Open up. Touch your forehead. Stay. Inhale, lift up. One more time, open up to the side. Breathe. Big step, warrior one. Just classic <laughs> for now. Stretch your calf in the back. Push the heel down. Breathe. Sit low. Warrior two. Lock the knee. Just get all your attention into the legs. We want to warm up as good as possible. Straighten the leg. Stretch over. Trikonasan. Right hand down. Left arm up. Away from your hip. Breathe. Lock both knees. Stretch your arm away. The other one. And then bring your left hand down. Come a tiny bit closer. Left hand to the outside. Your right hand back. Bend in. Stretch out of your hip. Neck has no tension. It's just moving. But not tight. Okay, right hand down. Parshvottanasana. So, start here. We're going to do three sets. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Lower as far as you can with your hands to the sides. Lock both knees. <clears throat> Try and see this as... Uh, the mixture of a yin and a yang posture. So you want to engage the muscles in the legs, squeeze and contract everything you need. But then all the rest, let go. If you like, bring your arms forward and just breathe. Good. Don't cry. 
Come up slowly. Let's bend into the knee, just because I'm nice. Straighten it again. Now we're going to go head to the knee, okay? Touch your forehead. If you need to bend the knee and then push it back with the forehead. And you can bring your arms up and interlace your hands and pull your hands away. Lock your knees. Change. Come forward one more time. This time we're not bending into the knee. I'm going to keep it this way. Good. Now one more time. Lengthen. Try to get the chin to the shin. Bring your arms to the back side. So you can grab your elbows if this is not available to you, but I want to strongly engage, motivate you <laughs> to try reverse namaskar. Breathe. Pull the right hip back and try and find your relaxation in your activation. This is eccentric muscle contraction. Muscle, the muscle is lengthening, although we are contracting it. Change. Hands down. Lift the chest. Good. You want to straighten that leg? <laughs> Almost. Come forward. Half moon. Hand down. Left arm up. Breathe. If you want to, you can also keep your hand down here. That's fine. Breathe into that leg. Lock the knee. <laughs> Good. You may, if you like, to grab your left foot from the outside then. Open up. There you go. All right. And um, we're going to do something I usually do. And very easy flows. So you're going to bend the knee with the inhale, both knees towards each other, and then exhale, push against the floor. Try to straighten your leg. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. This is the last time. Exhale. Straighten. All the way up. Now you can either push your hands down and try and reach with the head, or you can grab, if you're really close to a split already, grab the right ankle bone. It's not about being in splits right now. This is for warm up. Shoulders away from your ears. So rather use the strength against the floor. Okay. Left foot back. Right leg up, all the way up. Bring your elbows down. If this is in your practice, come forward. If not, just stay on your elbows, lifting the leg. If you can, just keep stretching that leg away, like you just did in Down Dog. Breathe. Left foot down again. Reach one more time with the right foot up. And lower down. Very nice. Knees, chest and chin. And lift. And push. Good, let's do the other side. It's actually, I think, a good warm up so far <laughs> for me. Left leg up, maybe for you too. 
I hope so. Touch your forehead, teeny. Stay for a moment. Grab the floor. Breathe. Inhale. Lift up. Open up. One more time. Touch the forehead. Lift up and open. Basically, you want to stretch your leg in all directions. Right? And then warrior one. We start. Sit low. Lock the right knee. Breathe. All the attention goes into your legs. Right? Warrior two. Breathe. Calm. Spine up. Good. Trikonas. Both legs straight. Lengthen away from the hip. Stretch the right arm up. Nice. Okay. Right hand down, come a little closer, not a lot, and pull your left hip back. Right hand down. Right in. This is a wonderful hamstring preparation for splits. Breathe. Get one line between your hands and shoulders. Where the shoulders and the hands should not be, don't have to be in one line. So both shoulders in one line, both hands in one line. The rest is not important. Because our arms are anatomically different, sometimes they're crooked, seemingly. Okay, left hand down. Ready? Inhale, lift the chest. All right, so just remember what I said, activation, maximum attention and activation in your legs. Try to find rest in the rest. Belly in, breathe, just bend. Good. Okay. Tuck your chin in. I'm going to touch the forehead and the knee. Bend the knee if you need to. Make sure your heels are in one line. And bring your arms up. Interlace the other way. Arms away from your back. Lock the knees. Inhale, come up, <laughs> grab your elbows or grab your hands in reverse, Namash God. Try, chest up, lock the knees, try to reach the chin to your shin. First, belly on the thigh, chest on the knees, chin on the shin. Good. Hands down. Nice. Let's go for Ardha Chandrasana. So, left hand down. Right leg out. So, open the hip up to the ceiling. Right hand on your hip or up. Lock the knees. You can grab your foot if you like. Kick into your hand. It should intensify the adductor stretch. Right on the left, on the standing leg. Breathe. Neck shouldn't be straight or tight. Good. Okay. I'm coming back a little bit. Bend the knees. With the inhale. With the exhale, straighten it. Lift up. 
Inhale bend the knees. Exhale, straighten up. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, lift. Bring your hands against the floor and use leverage to lift the leg. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. All right, you can use your hand to grab the anchor if you close the splits. Otherwise, keep using the floor. Believe me, you're going to be faster. And that's it. Bring your right foot back. Lift the left leg up. Stretch up. Bring your elbows down. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So either you stay here and like really reach with that leg or you come a little further and stretch. Keep reaching. Your leg is important for this pose. It's not relaxing, it's reaching. Keep breathing. All right, come back. Nice, okay. Bring your feet and knees to in chest. Down. Lift. Good, push back. All right, we're gonna do one easy thing, but it's good for the hip, so let's do it. So right leg out. I'm gonna do hip circle. One, two, three, four. Five other direction, please. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. Left leg out. One, two, three, four, five. And the other way. Two, three. Four, five. Okay, let's hop to the center. We're gonna do one more thing to make sure the legs are really warm. You might not like it. I can do. We can do easy and hard. Let's see. <laughs> Grab the big toe. We can start easy. Easy means with supports. Lift the chest, kick forward. Keep the chest up, try and get your shoulders, hips somewhat aligned, and then you bring the leg out. Stay like this, and then let go. Don't lose the leg, breathe, stay, calm, lock the knees. Slowly move forward and stay. Breathe. You can do this. Just keep breathing. Okay. Bring it back. I'm going to turn. You stay where you are and lift up the leg. Just bring your arms out like airplane wings. Belly to the thigh, chest up. And leg up. And more up. Change. Okay, other side. Other leg. Right? Grab the left big toe. Take a deep breath. Stretch up through the spine. And kick forward. <clears throat> and out to the side. And breathe. Let go. There we go. You can do this. Lock the knees. Come forward. Hands together. Stay. Lock the knees. Breathe.
And then just bring the leg back behind, arms out. Inhale, lift the chest. Your arms stretching up. Exhale, belly to the thigh. Lift the chest, belly to the thigh. Lift the chest, belly to the thigh. Right? Good, hands down. And just keep stretching down more. Reaching the head down. Good, now if you have a wall, you can go to the wall and have a little wall split. I can show you here, but I don't have a full wall. So basically, don't start right at the wall, just a little further away. And then you're going to bring the leg up. Flexing the foot means tucking the toes and pushing against the wall, right? I can't do that right now, so I'm just going to go close. You go as far as your hamstring allows. If you have problems in your hamstring, just lift the heel. And then you're going to kick up, 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 up. With the help of your toes, you kick the heel up. And breathe, push the hands against the floor. Just lengthen into that split. It's very easy when it's assisted. It's a nice stretch. Locking the knee if you can. Change, let's do the other side. Left foot down, right leg up. So up right against the wall. And then you can just come closer every time. Since I have no full wall, I'm going closer all the way, right away. I have a little tight hamstring on the left side too, so I start with the heel up and then I just come down eventually, right? You can do the same. Keep pushing through the right heel, the upper heel, and push your hands into the ground. So you are coming close to your shin. All right. Coming back forward with the hands, bringing the leg out and down. Very nice. So, I think we can do one more half split variation. Since uh, now this should be working so much better. And then we can already go into splits. So, right leg is forward, left knee is down, lift the chest. Ready, exhale, go down. Your head goes as low as possible. Arms out, breathe. You should feel this even in the calf muscle. If you want some extra change for that balance, you can try again to get your arms up and over. It's much harder in this position. Oh, I can touch my head, then it's not so hard. Probably you're not going to be there. I'll try not to cheat. Head away from the floor, even if you can touch. Yeah. It's a lot of balancing. Wee, hands down. <laughs> Lift up. Okay, come forward. Let's just go into a lizard for a second. So bring your right foot out. Breathe. Try to relax. We're not trying to sink the hip down. We're going to try and lengthen forward more, okay? So maybe if you can reach this far down, you can bring your head um, supported by your hand on your elbow and not just like pull the chest for it, okay? All right. And then from here, come up again. Bend your left knee. Good. 
cake away from the back. It's morning for me, so. It's an interesting time for splits, let's say that way. <laughs> Again, foot to the butt. Whew. I like to hook my foot under my armpit. Feels more comfortable. You can do whatever you feel is good. You can just bring the elbow around your foot. Yes, you can curve the spine here for a moment. We're thinking about the stretch. So as quads, just breathe. Okay, let's not over overdo it before we split. <laughs> Straighten the leg. Let's do one more thing here. I'm going to bring the foot flexed. Again, maybe you can bring your hands in the back into reverse namaskar, keeping the heel only of the front foot on the floor. Try not to turn out too much. So we're still lengthening. All right, foot done. Again, this is a it's an excellent sciatica stretch. You have trouble with sciatica? Right leg up, sciatic nerve. Wonderful stretch. Okay. Oh, let's just keep the leg up. Let's do one lift. Two, I'm on my left toes. Three, four, five. Lift up more. Six, every time. Don't make it too hyperbolic. Conscious movements. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Let's go in a headstand variation since we're already here. Like we did before with the forearm on the, on the head. And just lengthen that leg back. Just be in upside down splits. Breathe. Lengthen that leg. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. <laughs> good okay just for the fun bring your legs up it's good to feel it <laughs> and pike them down together come back down dog left leg forward right knee down lift the chest half splits You need a lot of patience for this subject. But I find most of my students anywhere in the world, even in countries where people tend to be more flexible, if the right muscle activation is not there, you're far away from doing it correctly. And if you start activating your muscles actually quicker than you think, right? It's easier than learning handstand, for example. Lengthen, and then the same applies to handstand anyway, to any pose. Good, if you are down, maybe bring your arms up. Balance, belly in. Hands down. Come forward. Oh, we did lizard well. Let's do lizard first. So the left foot out a little bit. And then just think long for it. Just think you have a light on your right hip bone. And you have to like, keep it shining forward, okay? Laser pointer. Keep stretching forward. Because it's just about that length and we're not doing a different movement here. Relax if you can. 
your neck because it will influence your hips. I can't quite explain it. I have tried to find reasons other than if I hold my neck tight, my hips are tight. There's no other explanation. <laughs> Experimental knowledge. All students I have had the same trouble. There is a connection uh, in some nerves working close to each other. And there's some with the pelvic floor and the tongue. Maybe it's got something to do with that shoulder and hip. I don't know. Okay. We'll find out, right? You let me know if you know. And if not, I'll, I'll try and find out. <laughs> but not today. So um, left foot back in. And then grab the foot from the inside. And kick back into your hand. Lengthen. Now you're allowed the little back bend. We're going into that stretch in the right quads. Breathe. All right, and then bend your knee. This is going to be this variation if you like, or you can grab like this. Breathe into it. Try not to hold your breath. Understand the intensity. And accept it for a moment. It's possible. Good. Okay. And then one more time. Straight legs. Here. Foot up. Reverse Namaskar, belly to your thigh, chest to the knee, chin to the shin, bring right hip forward, left hip back, long spine, relaxed neck, change, all right, good job, left leg up, that was intense, I know. <laughs> Let's do the one ten lifts. I think we did one, two, three. Don't just throw your leg up. Do it conscious. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Good. And then come onto your head. And keep lengthening that leg. So this is my left leg over my head, right? And the right foot I, I can look at shoulders away from you. Breathe. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. There's always a, like a slight opening in the hip. Try and Anyway, square, a little bit, a little bit open, a little bit square, should be fine. Keep lengthening, stretching, legs apart. Good, and then slowly come back. Oh no, we're going up, sorry. <laughs> we want pike, right? Pike down. Slow. Good, okay. Very nice. So just for the fun of it, I think we can try one more time on the hands. Just one more. Um, since I don't have a wall right now, uh, I'm going to use that tiny thing there. If you have a wall, just go to the wall. Okay. And I'm going to... Um, I don't want you to like unless you are super proficient in it, like concentrate on the handstand part. I want you to concentrate on the legs part, right? That's why you can use the wall. So if you have the wall, like just go 90 degree like this. Okay. 
and uh, lengthen. Now I have my right leg back first. Just try and lengthen legs. Using the wall, if you have one. Now oh, I got disturbed. Okay, very good. Let's do the other side. Maybe just stand on your hands for a second. Lengthen down. This is a great one too. Push. Um, but as doesn't. Tighten the thighs. Crack your spine. Eventually, it's all about hamstrings. The front is tight too often, but it doesn't hurt the same way. Right. Or let's say we don't overstretch it that easily. We're going to say it that way because it can hurt. <laughs> okay, left leg is over. Keep breathing and just concentrate on your legs, separating your legs, lengthening through the legs. Keep breathing away from your ears. All right, and then slowly coming back. Okay, one more time, standing on the uh, hands. This time we turn the hands around. I love this one, so good for the wrist. Lift the chest. Easy. And just relax your head back, down. Lift and lengthen. Again, lift. And lengthen. All right. Okay. Let's go into it. The splits. Oh, I can stay in this way. Doesn't matter. So, the right leg forward. Left foot back. Take a deep breath. And keep your both feet flexed. So, if you are really high up, like this way, that's fine. But you want to keep both legs straight. I repeat, you want to keep both legs straight. Even if I say it 500 times, people still go like this. Straight. Okay? Good. I think you got it. All right, and then just breathe. Try and pull that hip back. And the left hip forward, left butt tight, right thigh contracted. Good. If you like, you can try and do a back bend here, but it's just for fun, okay? Nothing, you don't have to do it. You can just, just play around. Take a deep breath. Lift up and back. Oh. Actually, it could help. Lift up and back. Lift up and back. We tend to go crooked in the back bends and splits. It's because the hips are not open all the way. So try and fix it. It's, it's not that easy and it's not our focus right now. So I'm not going to talk longer, but just try and like be aware of it. Yeah, let's do the second set and then we'll do maybe a deeper back bend. Let me see. Huh? Okay. Let's loosen up for a moment. Knees to the side squeezing left leg forward right back straight legs now look there's always one side is less flexible more strong for me that's the right side less flexible more strong so if if this happens to you, it's okay. Just know. 
It's not your bad side. It's your strong side. Chest up. If you like, go back bend. If you're so busy with like holding your hands, it's fine. Take a deep breath. That applies to everyone. Exhale. Lift. Then exhale. All right. Good. Okay. So the uh, subject of oversplitting. Um, I actually like to oversplit because of my knees. I have quite sensitive knees uh, often when I do a lot of splits because... Um, uh, it can be quite tight in the hip flexor. My knee is like pushing down and then I, I actually like to just have uh, a block under the shin to keep the knee off the floor. But then you always have to activate your legs, right? You like always have to, wherever you put that elevation, you need to be able to like straighten the leg. If you're not contracting the right muscles, it's not going to work the same way. So whenever you are over splitting, Think less and then more contraction will get you further, quicker. But so, if you have a block or a book, a big one, we can always split in this way. Stand, bring the leg on top of the block. Again, flex your foot, contract the thigh, push the heel back. No flat. Keep it like this so it gets straight and engaged. Stretch up. Well, you can just stay here. Grab your elbows like we did in the beginning. Breathe. Breathing is the best you can do here. Sometimes less more, right? If something is intense and somebody just keeps talking and talking, it's not so easy to withstand. Sometimes we need the talking to distract, but if you actually want to be mindful about it, maybe just shut up. <laughs> All right, hands down. Very nice. Let's do the other side. You can switch your sides or you can turn around. Tacking the back toes, contracting the front thigh. If you are not in anywhere near over splitting, just repeat when you did it before, right? I didn't say it, actually, I'm sorry. You might have figured yourself. Contract the thigh, push the heel back, breathe into it. All right, and then grab your elbows. Grab the other elbow, lift the chest. Lengthen and don't lose the contraction. Right butt, left thigh. Shaking is okay. Mm. 
All right. Good. So, we can go one further. I'm not sure if I can do it. You can just take two blocks or a low couch or a low bed. And I'm just going to try this, which seems crazy, but maybe it's going to work out. <laughs> we'll see. Important is just don't overdo it. Like, this is just for the crazy ones, okay? And maybe you want to keep one block for the knee. It depends how sensitive you are. I don't know. Keep breathing. Keep the activation. See, I can't even touch the floor. It's fine, though. Just keep breathing. Make sure you're contracting the thigh, the front thigh, the left butt. Lift the chest. Ten more seconds, you can do it. Change. All right. Round out. This should not be quick. Slow. Good. <laughs> Left foot forward. I wonder if there's a better way to go in. Probably. That I'm not thinking of right now. So just get into somehow this pose. Don't hurt yourself. If it's too much, don't do it. Just go down on the floor. Or wherever you are. Full activation in the back leg. Contract the front thigh. Breathe calm. Quite intense. <laughs> Morning practice. Ten more seconds. You can do it. All right. Five. Hmm. And change. Okay. You did so well. Round out of it. Don't go quick. Slug you in, in that way. If you're not used to it, you shouldn't move too quick. Okay, bring knees together. So, if you have um, a very bendy spine, we can do one more back bend. But I'm not sure if I can do it even uh, without all the warm up. <laughs> so, uh, we could try and do one preparation and then do it once and then see where we land. Um, you're going to go to, to the wall and The setup is similar to triangle, okay? Going to bring your heel close to the wall, not all the way to the wall. And if your back bend is not very well, like not very good or tight, then just bring the foot more away from the wall, okay? And then basically we do something similar to wall walking, only we have one leg back. You are allowed to bend the knee in the process and then we try and straighten it okay let's try let's see what happens stretch up okay so and then you're gonna reach for the wall like imagine i have a wall there right so wherever you are walk your hands down you can bend the knee it would have probably been easier to not go 
in with the leg back, but however. And then try and straighten the back leg. Relax your neck. Change. Slowly walk out of it. Bending the knee, bring the foot forward, whichever you need, okay? And then to the other side. For me, this is quite challenging, so I'm doing it this way, but you're always welcome. Just try and walk, walk down half the way and then bring the foot back, okay? Good. Lift up. Ready? Think of that laser pointer. Forward, stretch up. Oh, it's already hard to bend back in this one. <laughs> All right, bend the knee if you need to. I have to. And then straighten it whenever you're ready. And then try and relax your neck again. And come out. Very nice. Okay, so maybe this was a good preparation for what I wanted to do. <laughs> I haven't done it for a while and it's morning, but we can try and see what happens. So in this way, uh, I show you my, the side where it's working more likely first and then you would see me suffer on the other side. So the idea is a split back bend. But it's easier to start from here and then slide the heel forward. This is only obviously if you're already in splits. If um, if you're still working on the other one, like you're up here, maybe you want to try and like hold on to a wall and like lift the chest. Okay. So I'm going into this variation now. So you're going to bring the right foot forward, you stretch your arms up, and we do it the same as we did before, only then we're going to slide the foot forward, okay? Lift the chest, exhale, go back, and then you can even lift through the right leg so you can grab the heel and then slide the foot forward. <laughs> Elbows in. <laughs> this one not so easy to talk. <laughs> uh, it's just if you're if you're in the mood of trying things. It's nowhere necessary, right? Okay, let's do the other side. Uh, maybe we round out first. So round a little bit, bring the knees down, squeeze the knees, lengthen, adumukshunasana, little rock, side to side, the sacrum, relax. Very good. Okay, let's do the other side. Let's try and see what happens. I don't know why I'm torturing myself. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so you saw what I did, right? I was going back and then I was lifting the hips up to, to reach further. And then I would go down and then lift or slide the heel. Let's try that again. Uh, this side definitely 
so much harder for me. So I don't even know if I can do it. We'll see. And it's not about that anyway, right? But we try. So check. Lift through the chest. The part where you balance is hard. You need to bring the foot more forward and not lose the balance. All right. I think that was enough spits for me <laughs> today. <laughs> so I hope you had some, some uh, exploration there. Let's go into <laughs> Upa Vista Konasana. I want to stretch my lower back. Lift the chest. You can rock a little side to side. If you start rounding the back here, the first thing is to do like hands in the back, lift the chest, and then just stay here. This pelvic movement is more important than anything in this posture, okay? Otherwise, if you can go further, go ahead. Lift and stretch, lift and stretch. You can grab the big toes and pull them down, or you can keep the feet up and pull from the in or the outside. It doesn't really matter. Change. Okie dokie. Good. Let's do a nice shoulder stand. And um, halasana to relax. Bring your knees in for a moment and tuck your forehead in, ready to your spine. Good, and now we're just going to do the same active. So Back on the floor, touch the forehead to the knees. Keep arms straight, not touching your legs. Breathe. Keep pulling your knees in. Belly down. And straighten your legs. <laughs> Keep it touching. And just left leg out. Keep the right leg touching. On the side, don't lose the touch. Stay. Come back. Bend your knees. Change. <laughs> okay, get you. Ah, legs over your head. That's nice. That was a good crunch, wasn't it? Heads off. Away from your head. Wiggle your shoulders together. Make sure your neck has no stress. Push the shoulders down and lift up your legs. Breathe. Belly away. Towards your spine. Lift the chest. Relax the neck. Let's do a nice uh, pose. Bring your hand under your sacrum. So you're moving the hips to the right. Now make sure this is hard for your balance, okay? So straighten the legs. Make sure you have control. And bring the legs in diagonal with your chest.
Lift up. Let's do the same on the left side. Hand under your left side, uh, under your sacrum, sorry. And then right hand is just supporting, leading. Legs away in diagonal. Lift up. I'm going to do one more posture. Ayanga likes to do. Bring your hands really low underneath. Almost your shoulder blades as low as you can. So up. <laughs> and then you're going to bring your feet down. Keep your hands where they are. Don't hurt your wrists. Keep lifting the chest to the chin. And things and legs. If you can, feet together. Breathe. Good. And then come back. Cross your ankles. Push your hands against your thighs. Straighten your legs down. Make sure your shoulders are still in the right position or wiggle them back. And then grab the big toes. Straighten legs. Straighten your spine. Roll your insteps to the floor and round the spine. And then slowly bring your feet together. Exhale. Now slowly, slowly get the spine back to the front. And really make sure it's slow. One vertebra at a time, if you can. You can hold on to your legs. And relax. Both knees stay up. Bring your right leg long to the floor. Bring your left knee over to the right side. Now you're going to bring your arm on top of your left leg and the left arm from underneath your body. Grab your hand if you can and just stay like that and relax. Just relax into it. Shoulders, neck. change and the left leg goes long and the right leg goes up and to the left side the left arm on top of the outer side of your right thigh underneath with your hand and then grabbing the right hand from underneath your body your right shoulder should be relaxed your shoulders should be relaxed both of them Relax your lower spine and just try and relax all the way. If this is too intense, you're welcome to just have your legs to the side. Change. Roll back and lengthen your legs. So there's never any way to force any posture and if you do you will pay for it and it'll take so much longer so always take the time you need it's worth it it'll be quicker than you think if you let go of the idea you have of the result it doesn't really matter anyway Nobody's gravestone is going to say, and she was amazing at splits. That would be a funny gravestone, though. (laughs) 
It's not about that. Anyway, Hanuman means monkey. The posture, monkey pose. Relax. So I'm just saying, it's, it doesn't have to be the ultimate idea of something. It can just be a process and there can always be further. There's always somebody who can go further. It's not important. Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders. Relax your body. Relax all the way. All right. I hope you had a nice journey. Please stay and um, have some more relaxation time. And I see you next time. Thanks for trying <laughs> and joining. <laughs>